Hi, and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the tracing wheel. You can see I have two examples here. I have one with a serrated edge and one with a smooth edge. So this one I use for pretty much all my projects. I would use the smooth wheel if I was working with more delicate fabrics. So I don't have to worry about the snagging anything. But in this particular tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to use the tracing wheel. And I'm going to show you two different examples so it'll become an invaluable tool in your sewing box. The most common use of the tracing wheel is transferring your marks from your pattern pieces to your fabric pieces. And you can see right here on my pattern, I have this line right here, which needs to be transferred to my fabric piece. Now there's different methods for doing this, but the quickest is using your tracing wheel and some transfer paper, which I'll show you how to do. So here I have some transfer paper, and you can get this at the fabric store, um, and also at an art supply store. And if you look on one side, it'll be white, and then the other side will be dark. So this is the ink that's gonna be transferred to your fabric. I'm going to have, let me just move this, this dark side on the wrong side of my fabric. And this only works with a single layer of fabric. So if you have two pieces pinned to this pattern, you're gonna have to separate them and do them individually. So I'm gonna lift it up so the wrong side of the fabric goes to the dark side of the paper, the ink side. Okay. And then all I do is get my tracing wheel and I go right over my line. And I like to go in a back, back and forth direction like this, just because I'm gonna definitely make sure that it gets transferred. You need to do it pretty hard. And then do the other side. And anytime I have any lines that I need to transfer, I would just do it in this method. And that's all it takes. I flip my fabric over to the wrong side and here you can see my marks right here. And it doesn't smudge and when you're done with the marks and you're ready to get rid of them, you just erase them like a pencil. And the nice thing about the transfer paper is you can usually use the sheet over and over and over again until it wears out. So you don't really need a lot to get started, but that's how you transfer your marks. Another method that I like to use my tracing wheel for is if I need to make a copy of a pattern piece. So if you have a pattern that you like using but you've used it quite a bit so the pieces are a little worn and torn and you feel like you can't salvage them anymore, what you can do is make a copy of it out of different paper. So to do that, I'm gonna take my pattern piece and I've just lightly pinned it to another sheet of paper so it's not shifting around. And I placed it on a piece of cardboard it works really well on cardboard. If you do it on a flat surface, this does, method doesn't work very well. I'm gonna take my serrated blade and I'm gonna go right along the perimeter of the pattern, as close as I can get to the edge, and I'm gonna press down pretty hard and it'll, the little blades will go into the cardboard and you'll get a line. And if you go around the whole thing, you will make a duplicate of this pattern piece. So that's all I'm gonna do is just go around the whole thing. And you'll see I like to do the back and forth method again because I really wanna make sure that my line sticks. Here I have my replica pattern piece and I went ahead and did the transfer paper method in order to transfer my grain line and any marks I had and even a notch over here. This one I did on a flat surface. This one I, st I did while it was still on the cardboard. So it definitely is a little better if you do it on a flat surface, but I would still go over this with a more permanent marker. Also don't forget if you do do this method in order to copy some of your pattern pieces, not to forget to write what exactly the pattern piece is and then how much you need to cut out of each piece, so the pattern directions. So that's gonna be very important so you can keep making the things that you like to make.